Welcome back to Okiyama for round 9 of the iRacing British Touring Car Championship on the short course here at Okiyama with me Chris Cohen just having a look at these drivers warm up out the window and as you can see we've had race 1, we've had race 2 both races have been dominated by Andreas Katz he has been unstoppable, he took the qualifying pole by 0.2 of a second and uh, went on to win both of these races. Race 3 will be slightly different. Katz relegated in the reverse grid down to 10th on the grid and uh, the first 10 places have been reversed so a uh, 10th place finisher will be on pole. That means Katz has got a lot of work to do. Adam Terry and Simon Field who are the uh, t second place and third place finishers in their last race will also have a lot of work to do it's a 16 lap race, not a lot of time to get the job done and uh, it's going to be a chance for some of the mid place finishers coming in those 8th, uh, ninth, 10th positions to really get up and get some decent championship points in this final round from this evening's racing. Uh, next week of course is a week off from the British Touring Car Championship. There will be no race on Thursday the 22nd of August and the drivers are back in action on Thursday the 29th of August for rounds 10, 11 and 12. And if you are an iRacing member and you want to drive the British Touring Car Championship, have a look in the League section, search for BTCC and uh, you can put in your membership application. Uh, the memberships will be closed right now as we are uh, just doing the racing, we don't want to pollute that with new members at the moment but after the racing's finished the uh, the memberships will be open again and uh, feel free to join up you don't need to be British in order to join this uh, this particular championship you don't even need to be on British tracks uh, of course there's not enough British tracks in iRacing to go around which is why we're in Japan for round 9 at Okayama the short course here remember is under a minute a lap these guys running 54 55 56 seconds around this track. With 30 on the grid it makes racing very intense, very action-packed, very hard on the cars and the drivers alike. If you're new to iRacing and you don't have a membership and this doesn't make you want to sign up then I don't know what will. So uh, grab a steering wheel, give it a try and uh, you might be racing in one of these leagues or even this very league at some stage as well. Two minutes of the warm-up session left then this is Steve Richardson warming up his Kia Optima driving for eBay Motors, a very impressive display by eBay Motors today uh, Steve down in the uh, 12th position in round 8 which puts him outside the cut for the reverse grid so 12th he will start on round 9 he'll be looking to come straight up from the back though he is one of the quicker drivers, he should be able to uh, carve his way through some of these cars ahead of him Uh, Jonathan Rex, a man we haven't seen very much of before, the uh, the timing screen should be showing his KX momentum status but isn't, driving around in that 125 car he, uh, he hasn't had the best results in today's uh, races let's just say, looking to improve definitely but we'll definitely see what he can do in round 9, the third race of today out of the pits then with just a minute to go is uh, Graham Smith in the Welch Motorsport number 22 impressive finish for Graham last time around in, uh, in round 8 he was, uh, he was inside the top 10 by the end of it at least I think he was so he should be uh, very high up on the grid we'll try and get you this grid as soon as possible for the next race but with the reverse grid system what it means is 10th place will be on pole so we're gonna have some of the slightly slower drivers ahead of some of the slightly faster drivers 11th and beyond retain their original grid positions and if the first two races weren't exciting enough then this race is gonna top them both for sure apologies for not getting a picture to you sooner than that um, had some problems there. I didn't realise the uh, the timing screen was 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 still up, not the uh, not the live race screen. But this is actually now <laughs> Graham Smith. 
as they uh, they just finish off their warm warm up session here, and the race is just to follow. So this format, of course, three races that we have here in quick succession uh, means that even you know even if you crash out of one race, you still got a decent chance of getting back in the action for races two and three. Uh, but it does mean that if you want to get really high in the championship, you need to be very consistent and uh, take as many uh, sort of pole positions and race wins as, as you can, which is which is pretty much exactly what the leader in this champ in this uh, in the first two rounds, Andreas Katz, has done. I'm just looking down the grid here. I'm not sure if this information's correct or not, but we'll uh, we'll find out in just a moment. Here we go then. The lights are on. Round nine at Okayama is go. And don't forget the reverse grid makes this start especially treacherous. Down into turn one then. One of those airwaves is out in the lead. Paul Bird is out in the lead here. Oh, and we've got a spinner. That's Dave Grunhill. He's gone off on uh, turn two. He's just waiting to come back on the track now. Andreas Katz is out of the race. Meanwhile, all the cars coming down that short start finish, uh, st short straight in the middle of the track. Richardson taking it very wide. It was an exciting and very unexpected start here. Paul Bird still running in the number one position up front. Laura Bond on the outside looking to make the overtake. And following her down there is Sean Lay in third place. The timing screen's lying to us at the moment because that's. Uh, and in fact, the, uh, the timing screen has given up the ghost altogether. No, it hasn't. It's, uh, it's come back. So Sean Lay slips through into second place. Paul Bird now down to third. Fourth place is Adam Terry, is this man, and uh, Simon Topham is right behind him. Meanwhile, Nick McCarran in six is being chased by Ellis Stevens and Simon Field. Andreas Katz out of the race on the first lap. Now this will make things very interesting in the championship. Laura Bond brings that train of cars then over the line onto lap three, down into turn one. I think it'll be a tall order to hold on to this one for Bond, but she's doing a fine job at the moment with Sean Lay all over the back of that KX Momentum machine. Lay gets, gets a little bit sideways out of that corner, drops off a little bit. Meanwhile, Adam Terry on on Paul Bird behind and uh, I think that's the place yes it is Adam Terry then up to third place the lead two just uh, starting to creep out in front here as uh, Paul Bird slightly holding up the guys behind there Adam Terry goes through Simon Topham is in the uh, the Wix racing machine and uh, a move from behind from Nick McCarran down the inside into turn one. Hard on the brakes. Topham's not defending that one. I think he knew. I think he knew the place was given up already. But down the inside now as well is Ellis Stevens. There's contact there. There's more contact. Stevens barging his way through in a muscle manoeuvre there. Let's take another look at that one. Down into turn one. McCarran's down the inside. Topham gives up the place. Stevens coming down here. Just gets into the side of Topham there. Under the braking. Topham shoves him back. Stevens over the grass. Nowhere to go really. And and Topham is 
is left forced to the outside there. Well, that's exciting stuff. That really is. So if we're back with Stevens now. He's behind Paul Bird and Nick McCarran is going through. So Paul Bird is now down into fifth from the pole position. McCarran's through. Stevens is looking to go through after uh, taking the... the <laughs> Oh, and there's, there's more contact. Stevens and Bird are together. This allows Top Topham's collided as well. Topham has hit. Was that Topham has made contact with someone there? That is that was with Paul Bird, and it's all kicking off here on lap five. Nick McCarran then up into fourth. Stevens fifth. Bird holds on to sixth despite that contact. Topham is now seventh. So Nick McCarran is uh, not behind Paul Bird anymore. Timing screen slightly out there. McCarran running in fourth at the moment. But meanwhile... Oh, and there's a move down the inside here. This is Peter Van Gaal looking to make the move on Simon Topham. And he takes it. But Topham's going to come back at him down the inside with his, with his teammate behind him there. And uh, Steve Richardson down the inside. He's, he's lost out there. He really had to back out of that one. So this is Peter Van Gaal in 8th place in the uh, in the Persec Racing Machine. Richardson down the inside there. In fact, that's not Richardson and there is contact. We're trying to find out who that is there. That That's one of the eBay, eBay Motors machines, which isn't showing up on the screens here. We'll stay with that battle for the moment. Uh, the eBay machine is through. And... Uh, Topham's got the outside here, but he's going to keep the place from Simon Field, who is currently running down in ninth. Topham now down to eighth. Richardson is the eBay Motors machine behind. And uh, he moves down the inside now. Richardson down the inside on Simon Field. Can't make it work. Field holds... Field, no, Field's actually, with the damage on the front of his car, is in front now. So Topham is, is in the ninth position. Field up to eighth. He's uh, leapfrogged his teammate there. Meanwhile, Peter Van Gaal in the Pertec machine, and the eBay machine is a, is a backmarker, in actual fact. That's, um, that's why we're not seeing that on the timing screen. Uh, Peter Van Gaal is right up behind here. Paul Bird. So Paul Bird trying to hang on to the sixth position. And we look back from underneath Paul Bird's car at the front of uh, Peter Van Gaal in 7th place. He's going to be looking to make the move down the inside. There he goes. He's, uh, he's going for it. Down into turn 1. Can't make it work. He has that back marker right behind him. The back marker's overtaken them, in fact. And Is that Simon Field down the inside there? Simon Field nicks the place off Paul Bird. In the, uh, in the moment of opportunity created by that uh, very fast backmarker. Backmarker is in fact Andreas Katz who's back out on the track now. Um, trying to make up some places. Not sure what the rules are here on uh, overtaking as a backmarker even if you are faster. Uh, the race definitely over for Andreas Katz uh, in terms of championship points. He's down in the 22nd position. But look at this. Up in front of the race Laura Bond is winning this one by 0.8 of a second at the moment from Sean Lay but this man Adam Terry in the Dynajet machine is right behind them now that black and orange car is right on the back of Sean Lay that will be holding Sean up which will give Laura the chance to get away in the chaos momentum up in front we're on lap 9 out of 16 now and, um, and she's led this race for quite a long time now she snuck into the lead ahead of Paul Bird. Terry, round the outside. Addison Lee of Sean Lay is in front. Gets a good exit. He's down the inside now. There's a slow Pertec car in front. Uh, Terry just very sensibly backs out of that manoeuvre. Just in case there was a chance of contact there. Coming around in fourth then, Nick McCarran. Fifth, Ellis Stevens. And a sixth is Peter Van Gaal as uh, Paul Bird continues to move backwards in this battle, unfortunately for him. Simon Field, 
comes over the start finish straight to start lap 10 then. Just up ahead of him is Peter Van Gaal. As we go on board with Simon Field. He's hassling the back of that Pertec racing machine. Gets out of turn four. Not the best exit. Won't be able to make a challenge in this corner. Van Gaal's gone wide. Field will be sure to capitalise on this as he takes the wide line. He's going around the outside. He's going around the outside of Peter Van Gaal. Into the second hairpin. Van Gaal is still just down the inside as they come into the penultimate corner. Field goes wide. Field is on the on the gravel there. He's he's held it. He's coming around the start finish straight now. Paul Bird is picking up the pace just behind them as these two battle it out. Simon Field comes off worse in that situation. I th I thought he had the place, but um, Van Gaal has done well to keep that one. Paul Bird is just behind these guys with Steve Richardson picking up ninth place at the moment and Simon Topham dropping down to tenth. Stephen Abbott is a gentleman we haven't mentioned today very much. Uh, he's been a solid mid-pack so far. He is down in 11th place with Graham Smith just behind. Laura Bond is still in the lead of this race after 11 laps. Sean Lay second who has dropped off the back due to that battle with Adam Terry. In fact, in fact Terry's through. Adam Terry is through now into into second position. So Terry is going to start chasing down with five laps to go. We'll start chasing down the leader, Laura Bond. McCarran fourth, Stevens fifth, Gould, Van Gaul uh, sixth, Simon Field is in seventh, Paul Bird eighth, Richardson and then Topham rounds out the top ten. So we're looking forward to the race leader from the car of Adam Terry in the dyno jet. He's uh, making some progress on Laura Bond here. He's only got five laps in which to catch and pass her if he wants the race win, which will severely help his chances in the championship. Given that Andreas Katz is currently running down in the number 20 spot, he has made a couple of places back. Sean Lay now is under threat from Nick McCarran who is right behind. Ellis Stevens follows up that train. So it's a battle for third then. Lay, McCarran's, McCarran and Stevens. There's not much in it here but in the meantime Adam Terry is right on the tail of Laura Bond. I know she'll want to hang on for this win, but she's got a long way to go yet. There's another three laps to cover before the end of the race. Lap 13 here. The gap down to 0.3 of a second. The question is not if Adam Terry will make his move. The question is when. He's got a good exit. He's down the inside. Bond not trying to defend this one. And that will be Terry's easiest pass of the day, I feel, as he takes the race lead with three laps to go. Bond down the inside. That's unexpected. She's cut too much speed there, but she's round the outside now. Terry's got this one. Terry's closed the door. That's let the group just behind catch up very slightly. And uh, Terry, now the race leader from Laura Bond, and then Sean Lay, Nick McCarran, Ellis Stevens, who is down in fifth. Then we've got a bit of a gap between uh, them and Simon Field, and uh, a close battle down here in the the eighth position. Paul Bird dropping off the pace slightly down here, but Simon Topham, who is currently tenth, is looking to take that place back from Paul Bird. Bird, remember, starting on pole position, getting a good start leading the race for a for a short while before um before the the, the drivers kind of swamped him to be honest um he's doing well to hang on in ninth place there he pick up some solid championship points but with two laps to go here oh and layers off layers into the wall
coming into turn one with two laps to go. There's contact between him and Nick McCarron. McCarron, dive down the inside there. Lay is sideways. He has he has no control over that car. That that is a drama for uh for Sean Lay, who was running in third place behind Bond and Terry. And then one of the eBay Motors cars go around there, and you can see Sean Lay's car is uh, is completely out of shape there, and he can't possibly he can't possibly get back into that now. So drama there on uh, the second to last lap. Adam Terry, your race leader, going into the last lap of this race. Laura Bond, a very close second. I expect her to drop drop back more than this, to be fair, and uh, she is doing a fantastic job of holding on there. McCarran up into third in controversial circumstances. I couldn't see what happened in that replay conclusively, but it did look like McCarran was in the back of Sean Lay. Ellis Stevens now chasing down Nick McCarran on the final lap with uh, Simon Field in third. But it's this man, Adam Terry, who, barring a mistake in the final corner, will take the win in the final race. Laura Bond down the inside on the final, on the start finish straight. She's not quite got it. That was pretty close. That gap was pretty close. A very good exit. The final corner there for Laura Bond. Uh, Peter Van Gaal coming home in six with Steve Richardson fighting for seventh. He won't get it. Another close finish. And then Paul Bird bringing up a whole train of cars behind him. The Airways Racing Machine comes home in eighth position. Simon Topham ninth. Stephen Abbott tenth. Jonathan Rex with a big crash. Oh my goodness. That is a huge crash. Jonathan Rex comes home in... Was it 10th place? Well, we'll have another look at that now. Look at the KX Momentum car coming through here. And a much faster car comes up behind him and uh, just absolutely wipes him out. That's the uh, that's the 41 car of Stephen Abbott. They're, the race was finished, so uh, so there's no positions lost there, but... That was a dramatic end to the race. So, round nine, Okiyama is over. Adam Terry is your race winner. Laura Bond, second. McCarran, third. And like I say, um, uh, Steve, uh, Sean Lay missed out there. He was running in the third spot. Not really sure what happened there. Uh, we did have a look at the replay and it was a little bit inconclusive. Stevens 4th, Field 5th, Van Gaal 6th, Richardson 7th, an improvement on uh, round 8 for sure. Paul Bird with a very impressive 8th place, Topham 9th, Rex in 10th. Now as we look at the rest of the points in this race, you can see Sean Lay had missed out on any points there as he's come down in the, in the 16th position. Let's try and get a word now with uh, Chris Rogers if we can, who came home in the 16th spot in that particular race. Chris, a good race for you, 16th place in the Speedworks car? Yes, yes, better than we were anticipating after the previous two races didn't quite go as planned. So um, how, how did the first two work out then? You, you, say, you sound like you're disappointed with those. Yeah, first one, there was a, quite a major incident on the first corner. Unfortunately, we were caught up in that, which damaged the front left of the car, which involved us getting towed to the pits. Second race, uh, we picked up a puncture from debris after the third corner, where there was another altercation between several vehicles, which again put us down by a bit because we had to go and do a tyre change. And of course, the third race with the reverse grid is the one that you expect to be the uh, the most dramatic off the start line, but that's not the case this time. No, a uh, very clean race this time. Had one incident where uh, the gearbox decided it was going to stick in the wrong gear and we had an off on the fifth corner on about the twelfth lap. But apart from that, uh, very clean racing around us. Um, some hard racing from various people like Rob Ross who was really giving me a, a serious push all the way around the course. And uh, yeah, it was a good race for us for a change. Excellent stuff. Well done, Chris. That's uh, Chris Rogers there for um, the Speedworks team. Coming home in 16th place. And uh, this race was almost taken by Laura Bond, who got into the first position 
after um, nipping past Paul Bird, who eventually succumbed and dropped down to the uh, the eighth place, but still a very good result for Paul. Uh, Laura unable to hold on to it going into the final three laps. Adam Terry slipped past into the lead, uh, where he held it not by much, but he held the result all the way to the end. Andreas Katz going out in spectacular fashion on the first lap, putting paid to any points for him. He came home in the 18th position, working his way back up the field. He would have had to get another four places to get into the points there. Um, but no points this time for Andreas Katz, although he is the race winner from rounds 7 and 8 here at Okayama. That is the end of round 9, so there's no racing next week in the British Touring Cars, remember? Thursday the 22nd we'll see no races but Thursday the 29th join us for rounds 10 11 and 12 in the iRacing British Touring Car Championship